Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the AFV factory. Today I'm going to be carrying on working on this um, factory um, entrance gate uh, for my one of my dioramas that I'm building. Um, this was supplied to me by Scale Models HQ so you should be able to find it on their um, website or something similar. That's at www scalemodelshq.com and if you use the um, offer code BL10 that's in capitals you'll get a 10% discount um, on any purchases you make there so the effect that I was going for was to have or that I am going for is to have some a, a brick wall that was initially painted but over the years has started to weather and the paint has started to come away from the bricks um, relieving the, revealing the, the brick colour behind it so um, I used a, just a small brush and the paint I'm using is Vallejo uh, Orange Brown which is the model colour 70981 and um, yeah so I just wanted to bring out the brickwork through the paint so the thinking was the lower down the, to the, towards the bottom of the wall the more brick would be exposed because that would take the weather obviously the rain running down the wall and also damp coming up you tend to see this on brick walls where these lower bricks are a lot more exposed than the ones higher up um, so the sort of the process that I went through and the thinking behind it was that I just went over the whole lot all the bricks just as you can see here, um, just lightly so that there was an even or relatively even coat of exposure um, across the whole wall. And then I then just started to pick out certain bricks um, that were gonna take some um, extra weathering just to give it a bit more interest and um, uh, make it more interesting to look at. And um, obviously that is a, a realistic view as well I believe so it's interesting once you do these and you take a few photographs which I've done um, and then you then look over the photographs you tend to see areas that you might not have um, picked up while you're working on it that needs um, some extra attention um, good example here is with these repetition um, with these two bricks that I picked out time and time again um, wasn't really aware that I was doing it but now that I look back on it or now that I look at it now I can see um, it's it's too repetitive um, your eye is immediately drawn to it or, and so I'm going to remedy that first just by um, working on a few extra bricks around these these twins or these pairs um, and then I will then carry on and start working on this one which obviously I haven't done anything on yet um, and it is very much a process, you know, you don't want to work on a, a, an area or a level of weathering in one go because you tend to um, overdo it or it becomes unrealistic. It's better to just work over a large area, um, not necessarily quickly, but um, just steadily. Don't, don't focus on one area particularly. And then just keep going back over it and back over it um, and that way you tend to keep be able to achieve a, a more re realistic look so as I said I've just been using this little brush and the thing with anything when you're using doing this type of weathering whether it's a brush or a sponge is you need to make sure that you're constantly rotating and moving the brush uh, because you don't if you can just keep going in the same way boom 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 what you end up with is a re repeat of that pattern uh, which again is unnatural um, so you just want to uh, keep rotating the brush as you're applying the paint And again, you know, there's not very much paint on this brush, and that's good because, you know, you only have to have slightly too much, and you put a great big splodge on it, 
and then that is difficult to you know sort of repair you can do it it's not you know not the end of the world but it's better to get into the habit of not overdoing it in the beginning There's another one that needs to do. Yeah. yeah, so that's looking better already because that's removed those um, repeats of the two bricks. Yeah, so we've got one there, but I mean, it's all right to leave some in, but I'm trying to get a, um, get a variation across there to remove any similarities. So we'll now move on to the other side and you can see how I go across the, the, the bricks to begin with. So you can see how that's starting to um, take shape now. And as I, I, not listening to my own advice really, I have overdone it on a couple of bricks. That's more to do with uh, my hands are very shaky today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But it's not too bad. I can um, I can work with that and and that won't be a problem once it's finished. So that's how that's going at the moment. The other thing that I have been working on, I'll move that over just for now, is the um, the two doors. So they've just had um, an initial coat of blue paint um, and I'm gonna weather these as well. Um, so you can see, hopefully, that I've gone over those and sanded those back to um, expose some bare wood. And then what I shall do again now is go over that again with another blue, but probably a different, slightly different tone or, or shade of blue, and then rub that back again. And I'll keep doing that process um, until I get um, the desired effect. And I'm just going for a, a, a set of doors that have been, you know, repeatedly painted and um, as you would um, in, in slightly different colours or slightly different shades of blue. You know, as you would expect to find um, on an old factory. So I'll leave it there for now and I shall carry on with the brickwork and um, I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for tuning in.